Good morning guys, welcome back to Gas Kings. So, today I'm absolutely buzzing because I've been invited by a company called Eagle Moss Collections to go up to London and film the Back to the Future DeLorean. I'm so, so excited. I've been a massive fan of Back to the Future for God knows how long. Got the box sets, love the DeLorean, love the hoverboard, everything about Back to the Future. So, let's go see this car for ourselves. <music> Well, that made an interesting read and passed about an hour. Also included in that was actually a 2017 calendar from Top Gear. I don't want it, I'm not gonna use it, so leave the comments below if you want the calendar and I'll pick a winner at random. Right guys, so here's the situation. I've not taken a train for God knows how long. This is the first time I've taken the train in years. First time I take the train, need plenty of time off to make sure I can get where I'm going. And now there is a fire on the track. So we're just about to um, to stop in the next station or just before there's apparently a massive delay of other trains that are waiting to get through this affected area of fire and wait for that to be put out. I'm gonna be late. Finally, the train is now in motion again. Yes! Finally guys, I made it off the train. I was on there for three and a half hours from like Bournemouth to London, which is ridiculous. Thank you to the uh, the track fire that was on the go, but I've got to wait, make my way now to uh, Lyric Theatre, where hopefully this DeLorean from Back to the Future will be waiting for me. Just walking by and I am starving. Give me the Nando's. Oh, and there it is. There is the DeLorean drawn quite a crowd not surprised guys just check out this crowd who doesn't love back to the future and a DeLorean let's go take a closer look shall we so there's the front it's literally come with all the gubbins as well let's take a look on the inside it's got the JVC camcorder it's got all the dials on the dash love the doors go around to the rear Look at that. How sexy does that look? So excited to be part of it. So thanks again to Eagle Moss Collections for inviting me down. Let's get the gimbal out and do some arty farty shots with this bad boy. Right guys, some information for you about the car. There was actually seven original cars built for the actual film when they were filming. And then they built two promo cars, or the studio did anyway. And this is actually one of them. Um, and it's that rare that actually some of the cast members, including Michael J. Fox, actually came all the way to London, uh, I think a couple of years ago, to actually sign the dash. If I can get in there and kind of show you exactly what I mean. Check that out, guys. 
I'll tell you what guys, one thing that this car does is put a smile on everybody's face that actually sees it so far. Obviously you get supercars and that draws crowds and some people have a bit of a mixed reaction, obviously some people look at it with jealousy and everything like that, but this one, every single person is literally getting pictures with it, smiling next to it, and it's so nice to see, and obviously for me to actually see it in the flesh as well. This could be my next future car, what do you reckon guys? <laughs> yes, this is what it's all about, Doc has now turned up. Goldie, you're back! Yes! You've come back to run for election! If we don't get back, Biff is going to take over the empire! I thought we had it No, no! Biff has already built the empire! That's what's so bad! And it used to be where the clock tower is! If we don't get it rebuilt, we can't have the lightning hit! If it doesn't have the lightning, it won't hit the car, we can't charge the car the We're stuck! We can't have that, Doc! No, we can't! Can you go find somebody who can build a clock tower? Before you go running for office, <laughs> otherwise your photograph will be on <laughs> every TV station. <laughs> Quick, do it now! The doc is working it, he needs power. Oh, from the R8, Spider could get power from that. He is going to power the stuff up from sure. the from the Christmas tree, I think. Clip it to theirs, put it on a flux capacitor, we can all go home. Right, so like I told you guys before, it's actually Eagle Moss Collections that have brought me here today to show me this, this DeLorean. And now, I've just found oh, that's cool, that is. the air actual scale model. How you doing? <laughs> there it is, guys. Quick, I found another Look power source, that. we can charge the flux capacitor. That looks so cool. I know what I want for Christmas now. They have gone all proper pro out today. Look, they've got film crew, they've got Doc, they've got Marty McFly there. This is so cool. I think he's scanning everyone. <laughs> Look at him on the way. <laughs> right, guys, so I have found the Doc himself. How did you get here today? I came by time machine. You seem to have a furry alien creature on your on your camera. <laughs> That's to stop the wind noise. Stop the wind noise. <laughs> really? Yeah. Have you been eating that Mexican chili again or something? <laughs> well, I'm called Gas Kings. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Is this man be drinking? So could this day get any better? Obviously spending the day with the DeLorean, I got to have an interview with Doc Emmett Brown, and I think that it's actually just about to start off and actually get going as well. So let's go get set up and actually film that moving as well. Okay, everybody. This is Doc Emmett Brown saying farewell. I'm gonna go back to 1985. <laughs> As I said before, could this day get any better? It actually can. I've just been invited to get in the DeLorean. They're not putting it on a truck and or a low loader. They're actually driving it back to their head office. So I've been lucky enough to be invited, get in the passenger seat and actually film this whole journey. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Right, so I'm getting in. Step in. Don't touch that dashboard at all. Nope. Keep your knees and that away from it. It's signed by everybody. I don't want any bit of what? Not No worries. Sit back so I can. Right, so this is the owner. I need to be his second driver, eyes and ears. So I'm going to vlog what I can, but I'm also going to make sure this guy doesn't actually crash this beautiful time machine. Gonna hit 88 miles per hour with London traffic. Yeah, they're almost out there. <laughs> God, everyone loves looking at this, don't they? <laughs> so, what litre engines are in the 2.8 V6? Is it? Have you put your foot down this before? Um, I go 55, 60. Problem is, if the car's too heavy, for which, which way's your thing take around? Yeah. Um, the car's too heavy for the engine. It weighs one and a half tonnes. Oh. That's a heavy it's car, not isn't it? Much. Uh, yeah, for a two seater sports car, it's extremely heavy. That's because it's stainless steel. Yeah, true. Who was this signed by then? Everybody. Really? It just needs to have been signed by um, Biff and Steven Spielberg, that's it. No that's way. Michael J. Fox, that one. 
Right guys, we have made it to Eagle Moss Collections head office, which is just over there. I'm now getting outside with really careful um, drive here to so make sure that the, the car didn't bottom out and everything like that. But what a dream come true for me. Where else should you get that opportunity? Right, let's try not to smash my head on the ring. And I'm out. That was absolutely amazing. I'm buzzing that I managed to get inside a DeLorean, the actual Back to the Future DeLorean as well. So massive thank you as well to the uh, to the owner. So wh where, which company are you from? At BTTF Car. BTTF Car. Thank you so much for that. Oh my God. Right guys, so this DeLorean is getting into its final spot for today. And I think they're going to bang it on charge as well, because obviously where it's been doing promo all day, all the lights and all the gubbins have all kind of run out of power. So finally made it and it's bloody low. No power steering. <laughs> so it's the right mission to drive this thing. Right, where's that wall? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now that definitely looks the part. Right guys, so we are leaving the DeLorean behind and what we've got is a little bit of a bash put on by Eagle Moss at this place they put on for us. So I think it's free food, free drinks. So they've got obviously the uh, Back to Future stands here. They've got the uh, little replica that they're actually selling. And those different parts of the magazine. It looks pretty funky, look at that. You know I <laughs> look pretty good in the hat. Five shoes. They smell vintage? Yeah. Have a, have a whiff. <laughs> oh, it's got some years on it out there. It's got some years. Where's the hoverboard? We have got that. Oh. Honestly, you've let me down today, guys. I was expecting the hoverboard. This is part one. This is part one. <laughs> this is part one. We got skateboard from the band. Brilliant. I've been here for a year and a half. We have a couple of dudes from France that have got a massive following in regards to the Back to the Future um, kind of like genre, etc. We've also have supercars on the streets. Supercars on the streets in the flesh. We have Eric. And we have. Manu. AKA Marty McFly! <laughs> right guys, we is literally getting late, so I need to make my way back to the train station, head on over back to Bournemouth and finish this day up. I've had an absolute blast. Obviously we've got Marty McFly. We've seen the DeLorean, so let's make our way back now to the train station. I need to go back to the train station. I've got about 10 minutes to actually um, make my train, so uh, I've got a bit of company here as well, so <laughs> we've got to literally like get our absolute sprint on to be able to get there, make my train. I think it's actually my last train as well, so um, we better make like Usain Bolt and actually uh, get to this train station so I can actually get home to Bournemouth. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Obviously, me finding the DeLorean, I'm absolutely buzzing I managed to come here today, so thank you again to Eagle Moss Collections for inviting me down. Um, also, thank you very much to supercars on the streets for keeping me company all the way to the train station <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it leave your comments below like the video subscribe if you're not done so already till next time guys see ya bye bye <laughs>